different than our competitors where they just use a, a mild steel and coat it because as soon as it scrapes on the floor a little bit it gets all rusty this one won't um, you will drive the plane up on the tire hits this roller here it, it cages it and then we use electromagnets to release it so you don't have that big ugly cable and it's designed so that it won't release if there's pressure on here because the, hard, the more pressure on here pulling an airplane, the more we want it to lock the system so it can't accidentally let go. And so when you stop moving the plane, the plane's going to push on here and then you can push the release and that will let it unload. The other thing we've done is we've made it so it can't unload. So if he pushes that button, you can hear the relay, but it can't unload until it gets lined up. And so that way it can't accidentally get bumped or try to dump dump the airplane in the side here. There's about 200 bearings under there, so all the way around this whole thing. Slope to hit that prop, wouldn't you? I don't think there's a slope that steep on an airport anywhere. Because you'd hit the prop taxiing through it. In our if it was steep, we'd hit it. Yeah. <laughs> the hanger down there, we could hit it. But uh, that's uh, even as you start your plane and try to take it off. We've it. had customers send us thank you letters. They say it's as embarrassing as it is. I tried to drive my airplane with the tug attached. All I did was get embarrassed instead of wreck my aircraft. We're doing it for us. It's kind of fun to have. Well, we sure appreciate you. Keep going. There you go. Now you're locked. You're good. Uh -huh. Thanks. Appreciate you. See, as you rolled off the throttle, it was actually going into reverse, but still letting it come towards you. That's that auto throttle working. How does the torque and controllability feel? Oh, it's 